Hello everyone and welcome back to Freeze Me. This time we are heading to the second world, chilly, cool, frozen mountain to pick up all of the green pig coins there, just like we did in the last video. Alright, let's get straight down to business. The first green coin is located right over here, which you might recognize from when we visited the world the first time and might have wondered what these red blocks even were. Well, now you know. It's actually required to have the Super Saiyan power up to get this green coin because you can't run fast enough without it. And over here is another salamander. You may have noticed that this world is structured like kind of a giant circle. So it's not as open as the first world Sunshine Valley, and the green coins are still pretty easy to find. Even if you miss one, you just keep doing the loops around and around and around until you find them all. That being said, there are a couple that are just really mean. Once we talk to this pig, he will tell us that we need to play a game that he used to play with his grandson, where they bounce on all of the pumpkins without falling off. That sounds really dangerous, depending how old his grandson might have been. But these pigs are also really round, so maybe when they hit the floor, nothing bad happens. This also seems like exactly the kind of game a country bumpkin would play. He mentions that it brings back memories from back when his grandson was around. And I feel like if his grandson weren't dead, that he might have worded that a bit better, so maybe his grandson is dead. This lady uh, doesn't know how to communicate without screaming, but she wants us to take a picture of her husband. And I find it kind of odd that she doesn't already have a picture of her husband. But then again, cameras do weird things in this world. Welcome to the game's attempt at another puzzle. This one is not all that much different from the first one. We have to push all the statues onto their respectively colored squares. The issue with this, as I mentioned briefly, is that the mechanics for pushing things is not, not great. They made it a little too loose, so it's very easy to get stuff stuck. Fortunately for us, there is a button over there for this exact purpose. It resets all of the statues back to their original positions. But they really shouldn't get stuck. The only problem is that this can be kind of time consuming. We've actually seen one of these statues before when we were fighting Pontus. And I'm not sure if the statue is supposed to be Pontus, I can't really tell. Either way, these guys have some weird tastes in decorating. You know when, you, uh, when you're when you recording something, and you think, no, I'll totally have enough commentary for this, but then you don't? I'm having one of those right now, but we're almost done. Yeah, see, that, that didn't take so long. Now it's time to run along the back wall over here until we find a salamander. I know it's somewhere back here. Here he is. Good luck finding these fucking things on your own. Anyway, do you remember that fish? Well, he's actually Snorkel Pig's pet. Toonie is a bit of an odd name, but let's just assume it's, uh, it's a nickname for Tuna. Anyway, we just need to touch the fish, but that's a little bit harder than it sounds, because it moves faster than we do. I recommend chasing it into a corner, that seems to be the ideal way to catch up with it. Now, just as with all creatures in this game, after Toonie gets too far away, he suddenly stops moving. And we can use this to our advantage. Now you may actually be here a pretty long time depending on how long it takes you to get Toonie into the corner. But there's really no other strategy I can give you. Now we just gotta talk to Toonie's owner and ask how he never feeds Toonie any food and the fish is still alive. Tell us your secrets. This farmer rancher guy wants us to find his weird, uh, things? These things. There are five of them. One of them is right next to him, so I don't know how he didn't see it. But another one of them is right behind his house, and I question his ability to actually take care of these things. 
But seriously, what the hell are these things? They have snouts like they're pigs, but they don't move like the other pigs. They just kind of sit still like they're dead all the time. What the fuck are these? We're gonna worry about that later, though. We'll worry about the specifics some other time. For now, there's another green coin that's just sitting right here in this coffin. And we're ordinarily supposed to solve a puzzle to get it, but as you heard, we can just stand on top of the coffin and pick it up. Also, I accidentally started flying. Fun fact, the flying button is the same as the pick up button. And you're gonna see a lot of that right now. Because this creature we need to grab is on a slope. So we keep trying to, we keep trying to fly when I don't want to fly, I just want to pick it up. But it won't let me. There we go. So are we absolutely 100% sure that these things aren't dead? Because they never blink or move or squirm or anything. I, I think they might be dead. The fuck do you have a sign next to your pen for? I mean, I know it's so that way we know how many to bring back, but why would you need to remember how many you have? Maybe they're dead because you're neglectful. How did you lose one of these things in a house? How did you- oh, hold on, I think they actually do move a little bit. Okay, so maybe they're not dead, just, uh, slightly catatonic? But still, this guy really needs to take better care of his pets. I mean, he's letting them roam around in this place with all these bombs and green gas everywhere. Yeah, just don't expect us to bail you out next time, asshole. Also, here's another green coin. For this next one, we need to we need to climb on top of the concrete structure, and we couldn't actually reach it without the flight power-up. Good luck actually finding that one without knowing where it is ahead of time. And here's another one that's really well hidden because of a trick with the perspective. There's a hole in these boxes in the crystal maze. But you'd never think to run between them. And over here is that missing heart piece that we couldn't reach without using the headbutt we get in Super Saiyan mode. The headbutt can break down some walls, it's hard to tell exactly which walls, but, uh, but it can do that. And this green coin is kind of the bane of my existence. It's a stealth mission, as this guy implies, but the stealth makes me a little upset because of the camera angle indoors. The first section isn't so bad, the idea... It's just that we need to jump over their heads while they're looking away from us. And we can freeze them in such a way that that's very easy. Since they both have very rigid patterns, it's not all that bad. We can even fly over them. But when we get into the second part, the camera starts uh, really fighting us, viciously. And I mean, it wouldn't even be that difficult if the camera weren't, like, punching me in the face all the time. There's a single enemy left around this corner, but we can't turn the camera around the corner because it keeps smacking me in the face. All we really have to do is freeze him when his back is turned and then jump over him. Fortunately, they can't trigger the alarm while they're frozen. I don't know what happens if the chest closes while you're inside it, but I don't want to find out either. This green coin is just on the gravity cube. So that one's a pretty easy find. This one simply involves repeating a three-note pattern that we hear in the window, though sometimes it doesn't trigger properly. In case you're wondering where we are right now, we're on that gravity strip that's around the main castle. You know, the strip we were supposed to use to get to Pontus, and we're gonna have to fly to a different part of the same strip. Because the, uh, the developer had the nerve to hide a green coin on top of the fucking thing. And this next one is actually near the castle gates around the back of the castle. In order to get to it, you have to headbutt this wall. And I mean, I guess this one isn't all that bad, all things considered. I'm not sure why it would need a teleporter, but still. I'm sure you remember these blocks. Well, this one has another salamander in it. And we talked to this lady before about her husband. But we're still not- we're still not gonna do that one yet. Also, look! That's either a glitch or a really neat easter egg. I'm gonna assume it's a glitch, though. Okay, now we're gonna talk to the lady again. 
And this time we're actually gonna remember to take the photo of her husband, because I did forget last time I was too busy getting angry about his neglectfulness. Still, it really shouldn't take that long. Now with the last green coin finally collected, we're gonna jump on the catapult so we can get the last salamander. You might have thought that thing I did when we were here the first time was just an exploit, but no. No it is not. You actually have to shoot your way on top of the castle to get a salamander. And after we do collect the salamander, we've officially 100%ed the stage, aside from the 150 red coins. So I'm gonna do a montage for the rest of the coins just like I did last time. And I will see you guys in the next video where we will 100% uh, what was it, Giant Bits of Mountains or something? It's the Mario Galaxy World.